This is a short video of my upcoming Glaze Chemistry Workshop. I wanted to give you an idea of what we'll be doing and how easy and fun it will be. Welcome to Glaze Basics for Glaze Surface and Color, a workshop with chick lots. The main components of a glaze are silica, alumina, and flux. And the ratios of those three components affect the stability of the glaze for food safety, it affects the color, the gloss or matte of the glaze, and the expansion rate, and the firing temperature. By changing the ratios of these same ingredients and components, we affect those five factors. Let's take a look at a recipe. The weight of the ingredients are listed in the recipe. This is 4321, a clear glossy cone 10 glaze designed by Bernard Leach. And you can see it's called 4321 because it's 40%, 30%, 20%, and 10%. So they always add up to 100. So all the main ingredients in the base glaze add up to 100. Then, separately, we add the colorants, opacifiers, binders, and suspenders. So they are not included in the basic 100% of the recipe. And this is Hansen's 520, a cone six clear glaze. Same thing, we have five ingredients, and it's called 520 because they're all 20% and the glaze always adds up to 100%. The base glaze, the colorants are not included in that 100%. Now, it, there are 35 ingredients that we use to make glazes, and in the firing, during the firing, ingredients become oxides in fired glazes. So we have 35 ingredients, and they turn into oxides. And it's only 12 oxides that we'll be studying. So it's not that difficult. You can see here of the 4321, this is your base glaze. This goes into the kiln. During firing, the feldspar, the flint, kaolin, and whiting, the molecules separate out into their oxides. So you can see here's silica, here's some calcia, here's some alumina. And so we'll be studying the 12 oxides that are found in all of these ingredients in the recipes. So the mineral ingredients that are in the glaze change during firing. The heat loosens their original bonds, water and various gases vaporize, creating oxides that bond together in new formations. So, like I said, glaze has three major components. Glass former, stabilizer, and melter. So let's take a look at those three things. Glass former, stabilizer, and melter. You can think of it as MSG to remind yourself of the, each component. So glaze has three major components glass former, which is the silica. And silica is acidic, and silica forms the glass in the glaze. Stabilizer is alumina, and alumina is basically clay, and it is neutral. It's not alkaline or acidic, so it's a neutral, and the alumina bonds the glaze to the clay body. So if you have silica glass, and it's melting in the kiln, it would run right off the pot if you didn't have alumina in there to keep it on the pot. So that's the point of the alumina. And then we need melters, and those are called flux. And they are very alkaline. And the flux lowers the melting point of all the ingredients. So we have 35 ingredients and 12 oxides and all of the oxides fall into either glass former, stabilizer, or melter. And what makes the fluxes melt, the entire glaze, 
is the reaction of the acidic and the alkaline in the heat of the kiln cause the melt. So ingredients become oxides in fired glazes. We have our glass former silica, our stabilizer that holds it on the pot in the melt, alumina, and then we have only 10 flux melters. So this is what glaze chemistry is really all about, is these 12 oxides, and then which ingredients can I find those in? Glaze, the amazing glass. When silica melts, it makes a glass. So what makes a glaze, you might ask? Silica melts near 3,000 degrees, but firing a kiln that hot won't be a breeze. So add a little flux and you will see the silica melts sooner and happy you'll be. So we're going to do just a tad of science, because I like to keep this very simple. And just to give you an idea, we'll just take a look at silica today. So silica is our glass former, and its chemical composition is one molecule of silicon and two molecules of oxygen. And we find silica in quartz. So we have Si, here's our one molecule of silicon, two of oxygen, or flint. And flint has a little bit of trace calcia in it. And they tend to call it silica flint over in Europe. So let's take a look at this. One atom of silicon plus two atoms of oxygen equals what we call silica. Here is our one atom of silicon, which you would find on the periodic table from your high school chemistry class. And two oxygen atoms. And together, those three things make one molecule of silica. So when silicon is combined with oxygen, two oxygens, it becomes one molecule of silica. And here's our quartz, where we get the silica from for pottery. As you can see, I make it simple, fun, and easy to understand glaze chemistry. You don't need to be a scientist to have great glazes.